Hello everyone and welcome to another screencast feedback video. I would like to take a moment to thank all of you who watched my previous screencast feedback video. It got over a hundred views. It got about 120 views. Thank you so much who watched. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hope you enjoy. Okay, so to the essay this is another essay on happiness and money so as always if you have watched my previous videos there are two views one is that some people think that personal happiness is directly related to economic success which is that money can be can buy happiness the second view is that others argue that happiness depends on different factors so this basically means that money cannot buy happiness. It may be a significant factor, but it cannot always lead to happiness. So the question is to discuss both views and also to give your own opinion. So first of all, the word count is 250 words, but I suggest my students to write about 270 to 280 at least. So this person has written 340 words. So this is very good. This more than satisfies this task response, this task requirement. <clears throat> to start with, happiness lies in contentment. So this is a very simple sentence to start. It's okay, it's not bad. It is related to the mental health of a person who has no physical formation. Okay, so it is related to the mental health of a person who has no physical formation. I'm not sure what she means by this. She could mean that it is not related to physical formation, like the, the word which it should relate to happiness, right? But so this isn't a clear sentence and it the this reference to happiness. Um, it, it's very indirect and it's very far away from it. So let me just comment, make a comment here. The reference to happiness is too far away and not clear. Just no physical formation. However, so this is a <clears throat> this is a linking word. However, some people say money is boon. So it should be a boon. Let me just put a here. Money is a boon because the word boon is something like it's a very good addition. Like it's a it's a catalyst to happiness. So money. So some people say that money is a boon, which in my perspective, there should be a comma here. My perspective is an impact of capitalism. All right. So this. Um, so I suppose she will say that she doesn't think money can lead to happiness but the word is a boon it's not appropriate because she must have meant that money directly relates to happiness like money is the is 100 percent the reason and there are no other factors which can lead to happiness besides money so she i think meant to write that but to write that money is a boon it's it simply means that money is a great help to being happy but but that is not disputed right so everyone knows that money does indeed play a role play a big role in happiness that is not the question <clears throat> this view that happiness depends on different factors it also doesn't deny that happiness is also related to money so this sentence say money is a boon it should be something like say money is the only variable or factor leading to happiness right so it should be something like this from my experience this is also another discourse marker let me mark it in green I have seen people defining happiness at the scale of their economical development because it allows them to accomplish their worldly needs and gives them a prestigious and powerful position, the powerful position in society. So this is a good sentence. However, the word, 
word economical it should be just economic so in my previous video i talked about this the word economic relates to something about money right so in the the subject economics so economic relates to something which is about money and economical means that it is somewhat cheap or it is cheap so she is not talking about cheap things here like reasonable cost she is talking about regarding money so this should be economic but otherwise it's a good sentence and um, did she fulfill the task requirements yes she did she did she did talk about this view and also this view however she has not made this point clear this is another task requirement which is to give your own opinion she hasn't given her own opinion here so let me just put a comment you have not given your introduction but i think it's not a big issue uh, someone can give their own opinion at the end of the essay or at the very last sentence but i think that it should be fleshed out so it shouldn't just be at the end of the final sentence it should um, at least have three or four sentences to give your own opinion and explaining it so this is not a big penalty that she didn't introduce her own opinion in the very first paragraph so moving on firstly so this is a transitional marker personal happiness is directly related to economic success because people can accomplish their materialistic needs so i really like these vocabulary items let me mark it in blue um, accomplish also is a good word to use here directly related to um, no th that was written in the question so I'm not giving her good points because she like wrote something I don't know if it was intentional or if she unintentionally wrote the same thing so normally we should write we should paraphrase what's written in the question also in the first paragraph there are some good words contentment um, formation I, I didn't actually like this phrase so I'm not giving it a blue capitalism is good enough scale okay all right so for example buying essential and then expensive things okay which fulfill it should be fulfilled right because there are two things essential and then expensive things it's also plural so it should be fulfill the idea of being conscious according to the ideology of capitalism okay so this is an incomplete sentence she hasn't actually written a verb where is the verb here for example buying essential and then expensive things so if she would just remove this which here then it would have been a complete sentence like buying essential and then expensive things fulfill the idea of being conscious according to the ideology of capitalism but also conceptually it doesn't make a lot of sense because she said buying essential things and also then expensive things so i don't know how it relates to capitalism like um, we do have to buy essential things it's it's a necessary thing for us all to do but then expensive things yes you can relate it to capitalism or consumerism um, so this part is confusing content let me just write that <coughs> all right so moving on that also is a transitional phrase by the way secondly is also that um, let me just mark the country transitional phrases first okay there may be more in between so yeah for example this one another is one and though this one all right so let's 
read line by line secondly money makes people hold certain position so it should be positions we cannot write a noun in english without making it plural or using an article which and articles are of course a and and the so she could write hold a certain position or she could write or she could write positions right so let me just make a comment hold a certain position or hold sorry hold certain positions okay in the society and also da is not really required I'm not going to penalize that the more people earn the more secured they become secured they become and more leading power there should also be a da here let me just put it in red upper class people can enjoy all the VIP and CIP services which enable them to be identified as an exceptional so that word and is redundant you'd have to remove it and i am not sure what cip means uh, it could be that i am unaware of it i don't know what it means this powerful identity enables them to control and manage many economical it should be again oh uh, right many economical important issues it should be economically right it's because it's an it's an adverb important issues which have it should be have which have prominent washback effect on the society and the lives of other people okay so the word washback it refers to specifically tests or assessments like in education but here she isn't actually talking about education she is talking about consequences in general so it's not appropriate here it's a good vocabulary item but mm, it's not appropriate in the context because washback is only appropriate to educational context and also re strictly related to testing and evaluation all right so it's not since it's not my student is not talking about that so it's not appropriate um write something like consequences or ramifications all right so i'd like to draw your viewers attention to the paragraphing of my student so she has used firstly and then secondly but she has not talked about the first view here and the second view here no she has talked about the first view which is happiness can be bought in both these paragraphs so she has dedicated two entire paragraphs to this view so this is good this is, i like it you don't have to do this you can just write one single paragraph for this view and another paragraph for this view but uh, since she, i if she could finish this in time i don't know how much time she took but if she could finish this in about 40 minutes like 340 words in total 342 now because i added some so that's okay but if you have time issues then you shouldn't like you shouldn't write so many paragraphs so i think this paragraph marks the start of the second view on the other hand right so this is a clear transitional marker this is very good very good transition <clears throat> For some people, the definition of happiness is completely the opposite. All right. Eventually, a person who has no shelter. So this is a good word. Let me search, search for good words here. Mm. Identity is good. Prominent is good. Okay. 
eventually a person who has no shelter to live or food to eat may found to be happy so that it should be right like may be found to be happy right or may find themselves to be happy that is better may let me mark it may find may be found to be to or may find themselves to okay all right by helping others once i met a beggar who earns money by begging okay so so this is redundant a beggar of course when you say it's a beggar of course he or she earns money by begging one beggar so this is redundant and spends those money okay so the word those is obviously plural but when we talk about money it's a singular uncountable noun right so spends that money that money after orphans or it should be on right on orphans another person i met who has completed his honors okay and masters all right from a well-known university feel it should be feels right because it's a singular noun another person feels pleasure in working as a gardener and has a very low income the word very is not very <laughs> it's not very good use a richer vocabulary item like quite a low income okay so whenever you write an academic essay of any sorts you shouldn't use words like very um, many words like this um, and also this um, yeah this is a this is a complete sentence I, I thought that it didn't have uh, it didn't have a verb but here here is the verb however it is a harsh reality that to fulfill at least the basic needs of a human there is no way but money okay harsh reality is a good phrase though how much we argue that our happiness should not be specified by money at the end of the day it is money which leads us to live a secured life so the word money is repeated you should use synonyms like finances financial situation yeah there are a ton of others like riches you can even say right wealth which leads us to live a secured life okay so so it's a good counter or like it this paragraph shows this part of the answer give your own opinion so she my student she acknowledges that money does lead to happiness uh, like there there are other things that lead to happiness besides money for example these these two examples of beggar and a graduate however she herself thinks that money is indeed the most important variable for happiness so this is good this is very direct and this answers the task response the task requirement the final paragraph therefore i think personal happiness is direct dead okay by economical it's, it's again should be economic success as people can fulfill their materialistic needs it's a very good phrase <coughs> And can enjoy a secured and prestigious life the word secured she used it twi uh, twice i think use a synonym like stable right all right 
so it's a good essay it has a lot a lot of improvements that it can have but of course i did like um the clarity of this essay so let me go to marking oh i haven't actually brought up the rubric yet pardon me so here is the rubric I normally have it set up when I before I start my screencast so for task response she has answered all the questions you have answered all the questions good um, I, I don't think I have any complaints about her task response but it wasn't as clear as it could be for example here um, this one money uh, no no not this one oh yeah this one some people say that money is a boon but it should she should have written something like is the only factor that relates to happiness but she didn't specify that so it could be that she misunderstood this view um, this uh, that personal happiness is the only thing that is directly related to economic success right so you could have been more clear in some arguments all right so fully addresses the fully developed sufficiently addresses is well developed i think she gets an age here yeah that i'm impressed by her task response for coherence and cohesion there are a lot of um, discourse markers right lot of transitional words slash phrases good good use of paragraphy but beware of time so I don't think it's a perfect usage of paragraphing because um, um, it's not perfect but I don't want to penalize her regarding paragraphing because I think that it was very well done it was very clear I think that she does get full marks in coherence and cohesion yeah I'm giving her a 9 here very good job lexical resource she has some problems here for example this word so lexical resource obviously relates to vocabulary and using synonyms so she used some languages uh, sorry some words which are not appropriate language usage um, besides economical that's a minor thing but besides that um, for example this one is confusing um, this is in inappropriate yeah I think the rest are grammatical issues so she could have used a lot more synonyms of course let me write it use more synonyms use more I mean richer vocabulary items for better scores all right so what can i give her here let me go to seven use a sufficient range of vocabulary to allow some flexibility and position uses less common lexical items with some awareness um okay so there is some inaccuracy here I have to give her a six um, I wanted to give her a seven here but I think since I gave her a nine in this one I think yeah a six <coughs> makes sense here so finally grammatical range and accuracy let me count the number of grammatical mistakes one um, two three four five six seven eight nine 
10, 11, 12, uh, not this one. So there are 12, 12 grammatical mistakes. So let me see if she used a lot of complex sentences. It's related, um, because if you don't remember, you have to use a lot of complex sentences even to get a 6. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, there are some. It's mostly related to which, okay. There is a usage of the, okay. But it's it's a little bit less than I wanted. It's more complex sentences. So if you didn't know, grammatical range refers to a usage of simple simple sentences complex and compound sentences and accuracy of course relates to grammatical mistakes or lack thereof so let me see what i can give you can i give her a six I'm torn between a 5 and a 6, but I think I'm giving her a 6 here. Okay. More sentences such as starting with the old beside. Alright. <clears throat> so let me count it 6, 6, 9, 8. Excuse me while I. So 29 divided by 4, 7.25, that's a very good score, 7.25, which is basically 7.5. So yeah, that's it. I think the essay could have been improved a lot if my student was careful about her grammar. And even for lexical resource, I think a better score is very much possible. She could easily get an 8 overall. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and hope you stay with me on my journey to become more fluent in English.